What's that? Are you having fun? I might need a cortisone shot in my shoulder when I'm done. Yeah, that's hard work, isn't it? No, it's just tough because uh, I'm out of shape. We both are. It's all good. Love you. Back to work. Tape is applied. That's working on painting all the area Nancy's in. Just doing it. The nice color that contrasts with the black. Very pretty. Maybe I will save that until you go up there on top and work with the kids on some other stuff. Okay. And then I'll. That way I can use the ladder. Okay. So currently, on top of the hundred other hundred things Dad is working on. He's also working on spanning out the through holes to make them unclogged. Apparently these are what we used to, well, no, lead to what we used to keep our propane tanks in. This one does. This one is for the exit of the air conditioner for the cooling line. Ooh, okay. Along with that, we currently have Nancy all the way on the other side of the boat over here working on sanding what is left of the blue line, which Dad has already painted. So there we go, there's our blue line. Say hi, Nancy. Hello. So like, you can even see the difference here. It's nice and smooth, but well, you can still what, see the painting. What happened was, is that whoever it was that painted this the last time, instead of painting it, they put blue stickers on it. So oh, those are no. all vinyl stickers that have to come off. Not even paint. Nope. Yucky. This here is paint. This here is a sticker. Ah, okay. Then painter states to prepare for painting because we don't do the vinyl stickers. And here's what the line looks like when it's done. So it's all the way down here. It's all the way. Well, as you probably hear, there's an audio difference. I'll re-explain it. <laughs> my my lovely, I call her my DNA. Yes, Rebecca. Hi. Forgot to turn the microphone on. Because you showed me how to turn it off. Well. And do you? Battery conservation. Mm, sure. So, what I did is, there's two holes up here. There's These are six inches, and these measured out to five and a half. So, I've measured on my starboard, six inches up here and here, I drew my line. I measured six inches from here, here and here, here and here. Here's my line. So, this is going to come out right at six inches. The reason why I didn't do my second one is because when I go to cut, you're going to see there's going to be like a, uh, almost like an eighth inch gap where the bit goes through and I'm going to use this rotary bit so you can see how wide this bit is and that's the width of what I'm going to cut so after I cut this out I'll measure six inches more down draw my line this way and continue it out to here which is six inches down so I'll have my two sixes let's start cutting our starboard and as you see we have some fuzzies here from where we cut 
So what I'm going to do is go down below and get some sandpaper and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Because, you know, I can't not bring everything on the first trip. This is, looks like all looks like I grabbed 60 grit, so that should work. So what we're gonna do is just gonna come up and sand the edges down. I'm doing that because down here there's little bumps all through here. It's kind of hard to see. this right up here like that it'll be watertight so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other six inch one out here and then we'll come back and glue them in all right we're gonna fix one of my educational moments as we say I drilled the holes for the helm but realized I drilled the wrong holes after I went to put the helm pedestal in so what I have to do is fill these back in and what we're gonna use is some famous wood filler. It's meant for teeth, you can stain it. So what we're gonna do is fill these in. Yeah, should be good. First step, what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure the area is clean. about as clean as it's going to get. We'll go ahead and pop this open. Yeah. Driver and pop that open. I didn't think it was going to be that difficult. Pop this open like I said. And this is what we have. wood paste. We're going to take some, smear it in the hole. Then we'll come behind after this is done and we'll sand it down and it'll make it look all almost new. Filling pretty big holes here, so. And I keep trying to make it perfect. And it's not going to work. So. Push it in there. Okay. So we're going to try a different technique on this next hole. We're just going to take the finger. That's how my grandfather used to do it when he woodworked. And on the bottom side of these holes, we're going to take in it, we're going to put some 5200 in it. Just a little bit. And directions say let it dry about 15 minutes and we're gonna make sure it's good and dry and then we're gonna sand it down 
and pull the pedestal out and sand it. And after we're done sanding, we'll probably put some varnish on it and call it a day. Okay, so that's how we use the famous wood filler. You can already see right here it's drying the lighter. Is we're going to try to remove this pedestal. Um, it is not bolted down. I just put the bolts in the holes. So as you can see, it wiggles. So try to wiggle it up. Without breaking it. There it comes. Okay. Down, pull the throttle and shifting cables up and out. So the other thing we have to do is make this hole a little bit better around. So I'm going to take the my lovely trusty rotary saw. in the bit out a bit. We're going to make the hole a little more round and pretty. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware Part of the reason why we needed to make this hole as big as we did is because there is an actual chain that's about that wide that runs down here and up. There's a sprocket down here for the steering. So that's why we had to make this a little bit bigger and nicer. I'm going to take just a little more off right here and then we're going to be good and done. I broke my bit. Uh oh. What you gonna do about that? Well, I'm good at breaking stuff, so we're gonna fix it. Because I have more bits. Right, there's that sprocket that that was talking about. Right there is the bits. I kinda don't wanna touch that with my bare hands because it's hot. And of course I learned my... So let's knock this little bit out and then we'll be done. That tool is good for some things, but finish work, it's not. So let's clean up our mess. As you see, we've still got some dark here on our putty patches, and we're just going to let those sit and dry more. And here's what the line looks like when it's done. So it's all the way down here. So after my uh, laughing fit this morning, this is what I was working on. And I don't know if you can see it, but... It came out okay. Some things I learned about it. Let me try the other side. The gold paint that I would have wanted would not have worked on here. It was not showing up at all. And you can see the difference in the colors. So the part that still looks gold is me not sanding enough down of the old varnish. So since I have to do this again next year and it's a yearly thing, I know for next year to sand it all the way down. Don't leave any of the old varnish on because otherwise it'll come out in multicolors like that. But overall it came out okay. Not as dramatic as I wanted it, but it works. What do you think? I'm hot. I know. I say let's wrap this up for the day. Okay. Nami Nami. 
let it sleep. It's gonna go sleepy. Shh, shh, shh. Hi guys, we did a bunch of work. If you like and subscribe, you know, go over to the website, Patreon, and go, okay, bye. You said real quick. Wow. Tell me that wasn't quick. <laughs> oh. Five five second Willie here. <laughs> wham bam, thank you, bam, done. <laughs> All right. Get, well, get the job done. Get her done. <laughs> well, we are done for the day. I think I hit my wall. I think we hit our wall. And you know, I love this little black mark right there. I was painting. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so. Nancy got saw a lot of painting done on the uh, artwork on the hall up front. It looks fabulous. I, I had think, to do it twice. I think we're gonna go with the black design with the teak or with the. I'm sorry. Yes. Not the teak. The stained. The, just the varnish. Varnished so, overlay. Yeah. I did the gold. It didn't come out very well, so I had to redo it. For whatever reason, it looked good when it was wet, but when it dried, it looked, made it look washed out. So I wanted to go for the black, which is what Andy wanted. So I guess even though I won the argument that it should be gold, it didn't come out that looking that great. So it was either I leave it in gold and repaint everything black around it, which I thought would make it look too dark, so I opted not to do that. So I just painted it black and we'll keep it all natural with the teak. Yep. Yep, me, I uh, I got the whole starboard side of the hull from the water line up to the gold line um, waxed and it's shining. It's not where it needs to be. It needs a lot more work. Some of the gel coat is revitalized. I need to put a coat of wax across it too. It's kind of like a cutting polish wax all in one that I put on it, but I want to put another coat of wax on it as well before it goes in the water. So I still have the port side to do. I'm going to try to get that done tomorrow. Got two of the batteries in. Bilge pump is hooked up again and working, so hopefully the bilge will stay dry. I mean, just kind of We had some... an awesome lunch. Yeah, it was a really good lunch. <laughs> just did a bunch of cleanup and, you know, well, it's really hard for us to film with both of us working on projects, so I'm just going to take pictures of before and after and insert them wherever they need to be at. <laughs> well, I also <laughs> did, along the uh, rails here in the cockpit, there were some plugs that had come out that covered up the screws, and I just took some of that lovely uh, wood filler and stuck in there, and I'm going to sand it down and hopefully put some spar varnish on those the next day, maybe tomorrow. Well, I got the conditioner for it that we can clean it and condition okay. it and then we can varnish okay. it. So yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot done. Uh, if you like these videos, and even if you don't like them, like and subscribe them. <laughs> so we're uh, constantly trying to improve them. You know, like our, our motto is, never stop learning. Well, this is something for us as well, is we need your guys' comments below on what you like, what you don't like, so we can continue to learn on our end on what you like to improve the videos. If you do want to help support this project, it is a not-for-profit organization. Head on over to Patreon, look up uh, SB Free Spirit. There's different ways that you can help the project out there. Events, you know, like if we go for a day sale, Patreons will get invited on that. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different options over there that you can do. You can also head on over to our website, sv-freespirit.com, and there's an Amazon wish list there that if you want to purchase something to go directly on the vessel, you can do that right from there. And if you really want, we are a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, so that means any cash donations that we would receive are tax deductible off your U.S. income taxes. So there's ways you can donate over there as well. Really look forward to uh, tomorrow and what's coming in the very near future. It's, we've got some 
exciting stuff happening. Really exciting. I don't want to do a spoiler alert. Gotta, 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 gotta. <laughs> but exciting, exciting stuff coming. All, All right, right, guys. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye.